There are so many things that, that are not covered by the public support system that we need to provide in order to, to really do the job with children that uh, the contributions just, uh, just make the difference. I'm Thelma Bridges, and my late husband, Jim Bridges, and I are the founders of Pathway. And in November, almost 50 years ago, we welcomed the first five boys into the first Pathway group home. We were excited to welcome them because it was the beginning of a dream come true for Jim who had a passion and a plan for helping children. I'm Wendy Tracy, Executive Director of Pathway Caring for Children. I had the opportunity to do a high ropes course with our children and high ropes is terrifying. It was terrifying for me and terrifying for our children. Uh, these are teenagers and there was one girl that was in the middle of two platforms and she wouldn't move. She was pa paralyzed. She was terrified. And on the other side of the platform of me is this boy. And he he's a boy that's really traumatized. And being here at camp was something that was needed for him. And I saw him coming out towards this girl. And I'm like, what, what is he doing? And he helped her. His goal was helping her to be successful and to get over to the other side, to conquer her fear. And you could see in his face the joy that he experienced in being part of her being successful in that ropes event. That week was life-changing for him. It was life-changing for so many of our children. It's just a memory that I, I just have never forgotten. Two, one. Go! You got it! Two! Two. It's, it's, my, it's my one My name is Donna Romano. My husband Tony and I fostered high-level teenage boys for 21 years. And I can truly tell you, it was a life experience that changed our lives. A few years back, and we had this crazy stormtrooper that used a lot of bad words in his vocabulary. We were going out for a movie, and before we went, I said, we're just running through McDonald's. We are just getting french fries. So he said to me, I have my own money. Can I get a large french fry? And I said, that will be fine. I went ahead and ordered them. And when I ordered small french fries, one large, he absolutely hit the red button and went berserk. He started screaming and swearing and calling me names, but we got through there. <clears throat> I was, I only had about five, 10 years under my belt, so I did a really foolish thing. I said, if you call me that name one more time, I'm throwing these French fries out the window. Now, you know he had to call me that name one more time. So I pulled up and the young man in the front seat was just a beautiful young man. His hair was spiked up about two inches. So I said, lean back and I threw those French fries. But the window was up. It's a true story. <laughs> Could you imagine? Here's this, this little boy, his hair all gelled up. Those French fries hit that window. I mean, they were everywhere. This little pretty boy sitting next to me had french fries sticking out of his jowled hair. So needless to say, we headed home to clean up the french fries. Successful day. <laughs> I think she planted seeds. 
and that's the thing about when you plant a seed you can't control the outcome of it um, and it's just like we, we want to see a change now 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 grow 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 but when you plant that seed and it flourishes like you're just that much more proud so no matter which direction they all go into like nobody goes too far like my brother is an amazing father um, his kids are always getting like student in the month and different things like that so he knows how to be a parent because of her so she planted that seed you have kids that have been out of her house for years but still call her mom or um, they'll say oh I clean my house from top to bottom and I learned that from mom so those are little seeds that we plant we may not see everything we want to see or how we want to see it or, or how we think it should be but stuff is working and things are growing and it's, she's showing up in everybody's lives in some type of way because of the seed that we planted. Today Pathway continues to live out Jim's vision by helping children and families realize the possibilities of their lives through foster care, adoption, and mental health. With all that has been done, there is still more to do. 2023 is all about Here's to 50 More. Will you say yes to a brighter, hope-filled future? to meet the everyday needs of our children, families, and community. And now I just want to say thank you to all of you for your support. Some of you for a very long time have provided support to Pathway. We could not be here tonight without your support. Pathway doesn't deserve the credit. It, it's not Pathway's success, it's their success.